So last, not last weekend, a couple of weekends ago when I was home, I was at my fam favorite indie record store and I stumbled upon an album which I didn't even know had been released. It was the second album from Scottish indie rock band We Were Promised Jetpacks. Now, I had a bit of a love affair with their debut, These Four Walls, last spring, and I was completely unaware that they had even recorded a follow-up, but apparently In the Pit of the Stomach came out on October 4th on Fat Cat Records, and I didn't know about it, so I'm going to review it now, because now I have it. So, let me just start by saying that even within the first four beats, this album is so much darker than its pretty dark successor. Its thundering bass and overwhelming crunch of guitars sounds like a familiar animal, albeit a bit more pissed off. When Adam Thompson screams out the first line, I've been walking in circles and squares and circles again, his voice sounds more grown up than what we heard on these four walls, but with the unmistakable accent and tone that you've grown to love. That opener, Circles and Squares, punches you in the face, but then it lets you down easy with a second half that builds from a simple guitar and drum bridge to a swelling sing-along that's sure to be a blast in concert. Through the Dirt and the, dra and the Gravel feels like a logical step forward from the songs on these four walls, but it acknowledges its past with great crescendoing breakdowns and lyrics that you can't help but feel. Definitely a standout on the album. Now, We Were Promised Jetpacks have shown us before that they're really good at writing mid-tempo ballads, but Act on Impulse really raises the bar. Its opening builds up like something straight out of a movie soundtrack, and then it drops you off a cliff into this quiet but driving beat, and it builds on these muted guitars that Adam is singing over beautifully, lyrics like, All this talk of death really makes my weak, show the same darkness we heard sung over the bells, strings, and screaming guitars of the first album, but this time they feel a lot deeper because it's so much more simplistic. The darkness and maturity that this album has really brought to them it really shows on this track, and I love it a lot. Hard to Remember stays at the same mid-tempo pace as Act on Impulse, but with a bit less emotional effect. A Picture of Health feels a bit like a B-side, but it's still kind of okay. The second most powerful track on the album, Boy in the Backseat, has this scream-along line, I'm keeping myself to myself, a great balance of quietish melodies and loud barrages of distortion, this track is everything you ever wanted from We Were Promised Jetpacks. There's not a whole lo lot else you can really say about it, you just have to hear it. The only song that's more powerful than Boy in the Backseat is the one it immediately leads into, the masterpiece that is Human Error. If that track doesn't end up as a single, I honestly don't know what on this album will. Its lyrics are brilliant, its guitars have the combination of distortion and melody that made this band so popular. Well, as popular as they are anyway. I can't explain how awesome this track is without playing it, but I can't do that due to copyright re restrictions, and I can't, I just can't describe it. So if you listen to no other track from this, and if you get nothing out of this video, go right now onto Spotify or Groove Shark or whatever you use, and look up Boy in the Backseat, because it's just such an awesome track. So overall, this album is a great follow-up to a stellar debut. It trades the bells and strings of the band's first album for a darker, more grown-up guitar sound and a few new vocal mixing tricks, but overall still sounds like the same band. While some tracks are weaker than others, In the Pit of the Stomach gives a really solid listening experience that you could pretty much use for any kind of working or driving or brooding over deep depressing thoughts or whatever. So check out some of the tracks at the link below, and if you'd like me, if you'd like to let me know what you think both of the album and of my reviewing techniques, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm going to start doing these reviews a little semi-regularly, so if you have any albums, movies, or shows to suggest, please leave them in the, in, the in the comments below. As always, give a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you really liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.